Okay, so we got our data populating our edit page. So let's take it to the next step now. We'll go ahead and remove this kind of placeholder text that we put in there. We don't need that anymore. Now, if we look at this page, you'll see there's some code in comments that was generated by our CodeSmith template. And it just depends on you know what the scenario of the page is. This page is for editors or administrators to be able to edit the uh, submissions in the guest book. So we basically want this one. If the user doesn't have edit permission, let's just send them to the access denied page. Since we're logged in as administrator, we can edit it. And anyone with edit roles on the page or module can also edit it. Now another thing is we made this if checking on the item good uh, sometimes it's cleaner to just do it the other way to say, hey, if it's just equal to that, then don't do anything. This is just a matter of style and preference. Let's see, we need to populate our button, and we need to create a new button, actually, for deleting. So we'll go ahead and... Now, for delete button, we don't really need to validate whether the contents that are in there are valid, so we can set this causes validation as false. And I think here we'll call this button save. And so we'll wire up our events. You'll note that we've got auto event wire up equals false here. It's just a matter of preference also. I, I like to wire them up myself. You can see tabbing just generates it for you. Plus equals tab tab. Now I don't really want these down at the bottom of the page, so I'm just going to chop them out here, bring them up. I can't. I kind of tend to like to have the more important code towards the top and the less interesting code towards the bottom. So I'll get rid of these exceptions. And now in our populate labels, we also need to set labels. And, you know, when you're deleting stuff, people can make mistakes. So we've got something that we can use here. Where we can add a confirmation before the user deletes. So the user will be prompted <clears throat> when they click the delete button just to make sure they're doing it on purpose. And again, we want to localize everything, so we're going to go ahead and put in our resource.
Okay, now when we click the delete button, we want to do And then after that, we want to redirect back to our page. So we'll go. These are just helper methods built into Mojo Portal. So that should give us delete. And let's see it in saving. How much time have we got here? And, you know, again, on this delete, we probably don't want to do it if it's an empty good. And we probably don't want to save anything if it's an empty good. And a lot of this is the same code that we have over here. We don't need to change the module good or module ID, but we do want to change these guys. And I guess we call it guestbook there, so we'll just call it guestbook here. And then we also need the saves. And then I guess. For now, we can also redirect back to the main page. So let's test that out. First, we build, and we'll go back to our browser, and let's just click on our test page. Okay, let's try editing the Homer Simpson. Now, we didn't populate his website, Earl. We didn't do that in our code, did we? So really we need to have uh, this up here. And we refresh the page again. Maybe he didn't enter the website. Let's try the save method. It's given us a validation error because we didn't set a regular expression pattern on our editor. Or, uh, you know, we did it in the guestbook control, but not the edit page. So, in other words, we need we need some of this code as well. These are just the labels. We'll go ahead and grab those. And then also we needed from load settings. But we might want to. We don't have the capture, but we might want the editor to be resized. Let me just chop this stuff out of it like that. And we'll rebuild again. Okay, we're just about out of time, so I'm just going to try the delete function real quickly on this empty one. So we got our confirmation, and we got redirected back, and there's one less item. We'll do it again. Get rid of some of these empty ones. And see, now we're down to the Homer one. We'll pick it up from here in the next clip.